Hey guys, hope you're well. So this lesson is going to be pretty interesting. What we're going to do is something like this. I'm going to give you two um, substances. So I'm going to give you NaCl and I'm going to give you AgNO3. We're then going to put them together in a, in a solution. And what we're going to try to determine is will a precipitate be formed? Remember what a precipitate is? A precipitate is a solid that is formed when a substance cannot be dissolved. So that is like when a substance, um, like an ionic substance that sticks together, but the force holding the ions together is so strong that the water molecules cannot pull it apart. Then we produce a precipitate. Okay, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna go throw some NaCO into a, let's say we're going to go throw it into a glass of water, okay? So we're going to go throw some NaCl, so Na and Cl. Now let's see, will this will this be um, soluble? Well, we know that anything combined with Na is soluble, and there is no exception to that rule. So this will be soluble, and so it will separate into Na and Cl minus, okay? Obviously there's millions of them, but I'm just going to show it like that. So that is soluble. That was soluble. Let's look at this one. Silver nitrate. So nitrate, here, anything combined with NO3 is going to be soluble. So this will be soluble. Now here's where the interesting thing happens. So we're going to have Ag plus and NO3. Now, what happens? So you see how NaCl was soluble, so I separated them. And AgNO3 is soluble, and so I separated them. Now you need to look at the other one, the opposites. So you need to look at this one, which will now be attracted to this one because opposites attract, okay? We know that these two are not going to stick together because we just saw that those are going to be soluble. So they're not going to go together because as soon as they go together, then the water molecules are just going to pull them apart again because they're soluble. So let's rather see what will happen. What if this positive and this negative go together? Well, if they become NaNO3, um, if you look at anything combined with Na is soluble. And so that means that NaNO3 is not going to stick together. Because as soon as these two try to, whoopsie, as soon as these two try to go together, what will happen? The water will just pull them apart again because they are soluble. Okay, but what about these two? We haven't looked at these two combining. Remember, positives always combine with negatives. So if you put AgCl together, well, it says here that anything combined with Cl is going to be soluble, except if it's one of these, and we do have one of those. So this substance over here is actually going to be in soluble. And so that means it's going to form a precipitate. Precipitate. So what will happen is that these two are actually going to go into each other. They're going to combine and they're going to stick together and they're going to form a solid. That is what happens with a precipitate. And then these two are just going to float around as ions floating around in the water. So these ones are going to be aqueous. We can say that these two are going to be aqueous. They're just going to float around in the water. But when these two bump into each other, they are going to form a solid because they are insoluble. So once again, I'm going to give you two solutions because we're going to do a few more examples now. And you need to determine if a, if a precipitate will develop. So here's our next example. So we're going to start off by putting some KOH. Now let's see what happens to KOH. Well, they tell us here that anything combined with K is going to be soluble. So will this break apart? Yes, it will. It will break up into K and OH minus, okay? It's a so that's not a precipitate. So that, that, that was soluble. That was soluble. Now we're going to look at this one. So this is a nitrate, and we know that anything combined with a nitrate is soluble. So this will be soluble. So it's also going to break up into Li and um, NO3 negative, okay? If you're wondering how I'm getting these positives and negatives, then you need to go to your table that we spoke about many, many chapters ago, where we looked at the different 
valencies or charges of different atoms and different um, polyatomic ions, okay? So that was from early on, um, in earlier chapters where we learned about all the different charges. And like, for example, carbonate is minus two, sulfate is minus two, uh, phosphate is minus three, you know, all of those things that we learned in earlier parts of the year. That's where I'm getting all of these charges, okay? But that's not that important right now. Okay, so both of these were soluble. So now what we have is we have a whole bunch of ions floating around. So as soon as this one tries to go back to this one, because it's positive and negative, we know that that will not work. Because as soon as this one goes back to this one, then it's just going to become KOH, but we know that that's soluble, and so the water will just separate them. So they're not going to go together. Uh, we also know that these two are not going to go together, because we've just looked at that. But what about these two. Let's see what happens if they go together because a positive and a negative. So KNO3. Let's see. Well, we know that all nitrates are soluble and we also know that anything combined with K plus is soluble. So are these two going to stay together? No, they're not. They're not going to go together because that is soluble. So nothing will happen over there. Now let's have a look at these two. So we know that anything combined with hydroxide OH is insoluble, except if it's a metal that is in the first group. And if you look on your periodic table, um, I'm not going to show it now, but on, if you look on your periodic table, this is part of the first group. So that means that this substance over here is actually going to be soluble because Li, lithium, is one of the exceptions of here. So none of these are actually going to stick together and so no precipitate will form in this solution. So there will be no precipitate like we saw in this one over here. And so all of these are actually just going to be floating around in the water in the aqueous phase. In future lessons, I'm actually going to do examples with you where we're going to look at reactions and I'm going to show you how to balance the reactions and how to see which one's going to be the precipitate, which one's going to be the aqueous. I know we've balanced reactions before, but we'll go over all of that again and we'll see which one's going to be a precipitate, which one's going to be a um, aqueous, and um, we're also going to look at things like overall um, or like ionic equation, net ionic equation. That's all coming up in future lessons. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. So we're going to take LiCl, so lithium chloride, and let's go put that into a solution, lithium chloride. Now let's see if this will break up or if it will stay like this. So let's see if it's soluble. So we know that anything combined with Cl- is soluble, except if we have any of these, but we don't have any of those. Um, in this, with this thing over here. And so this thing over here is actually soluble, soluble. So it can break up into ions. So it's gonna be lithium, which is a positive, that's aqueous, and CO, which is negative, and that's aqueous. Okay, now we're gonna go look at this one over here. So we know that all nitrates are soluble, okay? All nitrates are soluble, except but there are no exceptions, okay? I thought there was going to be, I, I was reading the wrong column. There's the wrong row. There's no exception. So that means that this is soluble, okay? And so that means we're going to have Ag plus and NO3 minus. And obviously in the previous lesson, I spoke more in detail about these tables, okay? So I hope you've watched that lesson first where I spoke in detail about these tables. So this will be aqueous and this will be aqueous. Okay, so now what we need to do is we now need to see, okay, we know that this positive and this negative is soluble, so they're not gonna go together. But what about these two? Maybe when they go together, they would stay together. So that's gonna be lithium nitrate, so lithium nitrate. But we know that all nitrates are soluble, so they're not gonna go together, okay? So they're not gonna go together. But now what about these two? Maybe they're gonna go together. So we know that anything combined with Cl- is soluble, except if we have Ag. Now we do have Ag, so what happens is that these two are gonna go together, but then they're actually gonna stay together. They're gonna go together like this, but then the water molecules are not gonna be able to pull these apart again, and so they're gonna stay in the solid phase, and that's gonna form a precipitate. That is the precipitate. So will there be a precipitate? Yes. Okay, so we're going to do two more examples. So here we have um, magnesium nitrate. So when you put magnesium um, 
nitrate into a solution, then let's see, we know that it says that anything combined with nitrate is soluble. So this is actually gonna break up. Now, the valency of magnesium is actually positive two. So maybe go back to your notes that you made at a different part of the year where you learned about valencies, okay? It's also in group two on the periodic table. And then, and then this is gonna break up into um, nitrate, which just has a valency of negative. We can just say negative like that. So those are um, soluble. Okay, that, that is soluble. Now we're gonna look at sodium sulfate. Now we know that anything combined with sodium is soluble and there's no exception to the rule. So that means this is gonna break up into Na+, which is now aqueous, and sulfate, which is, no, which is a negative two if you look at your valency rules. Okay, so now we need to go and see what would happen if this positive, remember it's only positives and negatives that go together. So let's go see what happens when this positive combines with this negative. We haven't looked at that, okay? So we're gonna look at um, magnesium and sulfate. So we know that all sulfates are soluble. All sulfates are soluble, except if it's one of those, but luckily we don't have one of those, and so these are gonna be soluble. So they're not gonna, when these two see each other, they're not gonna combine. Okay, now let's look at sodium and nitrate. Well, we know that if they combine, sodium and nitrate, well, we know that anything combined with nitrate is soluble. So these two are also not gonna, oh, sorry, these two are not gonna combine. They're not gonna form a precipitate because they are soluble. So no precipitate is gonna form over here, so we can just say no. Let's do one more example. So let's start with um, barium nitrate. So if you put that into a liquid, well, if you put it into water specifically, let's see if it's soluble. Well, we know that anything combined with nitrate is soluble, so that's gonna break up. Now barium has a valency of positive two, nitrate, negative one, or you can just say negative, okay? And those are both um, broken up now, and so they're now in the aqueous phase. Now let's have a look here. Sodium sulfate, well we know that anything combined with sodium is soluble, so that'll break up. The valency of sodium is plus one, and that of sulfate is negative two. And now those are all aqueous. Okay, so now we're gonna try combining the, 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 this positive with this negative, okay? And then we're gonna look at this negative with that positive, and we're gonna see if any precipitate forms. So this barium and this sulfate, well, we, we know that anything combined with sulfate is soluble, except if you have strontium, barium, or lead. Now, barium is what we have. So that means that these two are actually gonna combine, they're gonna combine to become a precipitate. Whoops, just like that. They are gonna be a solid precipitate. Now let's have a look at these two. Well, if those two combine, that would be NaNO3, but anything combined with nitrate um, is soluble, and anything with Na is also soluble. So those two are definitely not gonna form a precipitate, and so they're gonna stay as aqueous, but th this one is gonna form a solid, and you will not be able to, the water will not be able to pull these two apart again. And so that's gonna form a precipitate. So we can say here, yes, and the precipitate is barium sulfate.